Hello everyone, this is New Matthews, and today's tutorial I would like to show you how to make a pastel brush for Procreate. In Procreate brushes, they are made from shapes and grains. So to start, I'm creating various shapes and textures using oil pastels or chalks on different textures of watercolor paper. I'm making textures as much as I can so that I can choose the ones that I like most to make the brush textures that I'm looking for. Then take some really good and clear photos of the one that I like for the next step. To make a brush, we'll use a square canvas. Then import a photo of the one that I want to use for the texture. After that, adjust the photo by filling up the entire square. Go to the magic wand for the color adjustment tools. Make it black and white, also sharp and clear. However, you can do the photo editing part on another program if you want. Next, generate a default brush. Go to the top of the brush library and then click the plus sign. You get a new group where you can add your own new brushes. Then click the plus sign at the upper right corner to generate a new default brush where we can work. Copy the photo. Tap on the default brush. This will bring you to the brush studio. Go to grain edit, import, and paste. Then go to the auto repeat. Procreate will generate the texture or pattern repeat for you. After that, you can play around with the settings. And for this brush, I use the texturized mode. Then go to Shape, Edit, Import, Use Source Library, choose the shape that you want to use. Then go to Properties to increase the brush size. Now that you've made your own brush, you can take the ownership at the About the Brush section. Now it's time to test your brush. If you want to tweak something, you can always go back to do so until you're happy about it. I'm testing this brush for the overlay function on one of my artwork. Create a new layer above it. Use the linear burn or the color burn mode. And I want to use it for a paper texture, but the grain size is too large, so I have to reduce it a little bit. For the next brush type, I'll make a drawing brush. I choose the shape that I like from the photo that I took and prepare it for the shape. When you adjust the photo, make sure that you have a clean white background. Create a default brush. Go to Shape, Edit, 
import and paste then do two fingers tap to reverse the color go to the stroke path adjust the spacing and jitter or not here is where you can design how do you want the stroke to behave then go to shape you can make the shape to be rotated and scattered in this section and let's do the testing this is my process of brush making I keep testing and adjusting at different properties until I get the result that I was looking for. Now, I like how the stroke look, but I think it needs a texture, so I will add texture photo that I made earlier to the grain. Overall, this is getting closer to what I was hoping for. However, I can do some more tweaks to it. Go to the rendering. This is where you can design the color intensity. If you want to have texture when the stroke layered over on each other, you can adjust the burnt edge here. You can also make the stroke flow smoother when you draw by increase the streamlined properties. And you can design the opacity and brush flow in the Apple Pencil properties. You can also use this brush in the smudge mode for the blending. After finish making the pastel brush, I want to create some oil pastel colors for my new homemade oil pastel brush product. When finished the first one, group all the layers together and make a duplicate. Select the main color layer, go to adjustment and you can change the color from there. And finally, I'm going to add some shadow to the artwork.
I hope you find this tutorial helpful. I put all the related links and information in the description. Please subscribe, like and share for me.